So I'm late to the party. Fashionably late, of course. Netron has a bunch of items from his floor, and in all honesty, I didn't really understand them for quite a while, so I won't bore you with an intro or whatever. Instead, I'll go right into the main attraction and talk about Necron's blade. This sword comes with 260 damage, 110 strength, 50 intelligence, and 30 ferocity. The stats alone fall just under those of a Shadow Fury, but the 30 ferocity is really nice to have because, well, that's 30% increase to DPS right out of the box, and the 50% extra damage to Withers make it the best sword for the Necron fight. But what does unrefined mean? The sword is unrefined because you can, well, refine it using Netron Scrolls. Oh wait, yeah, Netron Scrolls. Netron Scrolls are dungeon chest drops from S plus runs and allow you to add an ability to your Netron Blade, and each of these abilities cost 300 mana with a 10 second cooldown. Each of these scrolls will set you back approximately 50 million coins as of recording. The first scroll is known as Wither Shield. Its ability gives you a 30% damage reduction for 5 seconds and then gives you 200% of your crit damage as an absorption shield, which for most players will be around 5000 HP. The second scroll gives the ability Shadow Warp, which, uh, created a special distortion 10 blocks ahead of you that sucks all enemies around it, which, one, what does that even mean? And two, that's just incorrect grammar. Using this ability again within 5 seconds will detonate the warp and deal damage to all enemies inside it. Aside from being the most ambiguous ability description in the entire game, it sounds like a good method of crowd control. No, what? No. What do you mean you're surprised I'm not going to spend that amount of money to showcase it? It's not like I'm made out of money. The third scroll is called Implosion, which deals 10,000 damage to nearby enemies. I assume this is mage scaling, but even then, it's still quite underwhelming. How do you get a hold of this Necron sword? It requires 24 wither catalysts, which, yeah sure, that's worth like 40 million coins now. And the Necron handle, which is currently going for, um, 197 million coins. It's an S plus drop, by the way. So for the low cost of 300 million coins, you can have a sword weaker than a Shadow Fury that tickles all the nearby enemies at the cost of a quarter of your mana. Nice. But the Necron Blade doesn't stop there, because why would it? Precursor relics are dropped by the four giants in the Watcher Room and are used to upgrade Necron's items. We'll see them more later, but their first use is upgrading Necron's sword into something more specific. The first of these upgrades transforms the Necron Blade into the Valkyrie. Both in slightly better but still not very good damage stats, a 50% damage boost to Withers, 60 Intelligence, 60 Ferocity, and plus 1 damage and strength per Catacombs level. First off, 60% Ferocity is huge, and if you're using a Tiger Pet, you're going to be doing way more damage than any sword in the game right now. Screw the Livid Dagger or Gilded Midas. But aside from that, it's a fairly regular sword and you can craft it with 8 diamantis handles around a Necron blade. The second is a Stilla, which is literally just a Valkyrie but with just less ferocity and more crit chance. Kind of a waste. The third is Hyperion, which is just a great sword for mage beam damage. Kind of pointless for anything else. And the fourth sword is the Astrea, which is just a Necron blade with a bunch of defense. All of these are small upgrades apart from the Valkyrie, but they're good at getting a sword to be more specific to your class. Next, Wither Deer. Wither Deer is just Necromancer Deer, but you take 10% less damage from Withers per piece, which is useful against the only Wither in the game. The full set summons a Wither with a Death Wish every 30 seconds for some reason, but it's nothing too special, it's just a bit of a better Necromancer set without the cool Necromancer perks. The real fun begins when you put it in a blender with precursor relics, creating the Necron set, Storm set, Matchsor set, and the Goldor set. The first set here is the Necron set, or the Berserker set. Sacrificing 20% of your HP and 40% of your defense over Wither Armor, you get 160 strength and 120 crit damage from the whole set, which is massive. For reference, a full set of Fred Shadow Assassin gives 120 strength and 100 crit damage, so it's already an improvement there. The set also gives more health and defense than Shadow Assassin, which makes this set officially better than Shadow Assassin, which also makes it better than superior Dragon Armor. 
The second set is the Storm set. By slashing your defense in half and losing a bit of HP, you get a huge 250 intelligence per piece before any dungeon bonus is applied. This makes you into the ultimate glass cannon mage and even the best player will die using this. But if you can use as many storm pieces as you can survive with, you'll be an amazingly strong mage. The third is Goldor's set. Just a bit more health and defense than the Wither set, but it's ultimately nothing special. Really good set for healers and tanks. And the final set is Match Source set, which is like an alternative set to Necron set. It gives the same 120 crit damage for the full set, but instead of strength, you get speed and a little bit less defense. I don't really know who this set is for, because it's really just a worse Necron set, but it's there and it exists for whatever reason. Final things to note, enchants and reforges. One for all was leaked a while ago, but it removes all of your weapon's enchantments and increases your weapon damage by 210%. I don't think it goes past level 1, because that would be too strong. There is also the Soul Eater ultimate enchant that gives you the strength of the last enemy that you killed multiplied by 2 per level. This makes you insanely strong if you're in a high level area or in a dungeon and it used to be bought to be way overpowered but it's patched and more reasonable now. Wither Blood applies the Withered Reforge to weapons which gives them a huge amount of strength onto your weapon and nothing more. People really seem to like putting one for all on a giant sword with the Withered Reforge. And finally, the Precursor Gear which gives you a sort of improved version of Spiked on your armor and is nicely well rounded, especially if you're missing a bit of crit chance to make 100%. So yeah, lots of new interesting items here. Didn't mention it, but the Wither set alone costs like 300 mil right now. So if you wanted a full set of Wither with one of the new swords, you'd be set back a cool half a billion coins. Thanks Skyblock, very cool.